Hi everyone, Simona here from Vector Twist. We are on day 12, the final day of our series 12 Days of Christmas, and today I'm going to show you some tips with the pen tool. The pen tool is the most important tool to master in Illustrator. It can really be scary at first, but when you practice and practice and practice, you really get a great handle on it, no pun intended, and then you can just vectorize and draw anything. Today I would like to share some tips with you how you can speed up your work when working with the pen tool. I'm using a sketch here, a hand-drawn text, Merry Christmas. And often you sketch something and then you want to vectorize it. And the first tool you would use is the pen tool. And since Illustrator CC, the pen tool has been quite updated. So first we select the pen tool and then let's zoom in and then let's look at the first letter here, the M. Before we do anything, we should also use some guides. So let's just drag down some guides so they can help us to place our first points and build up our first path. Now first I would like to show you something called the rubber band. Now if I place an anchor point and hold it and pull out the handles and then place my next anchor point, you can see this red band here. This is called the rubber band. We didn't have that in older versions of Illustrator and it's really a neat feature to give you a good indication how your path will look like. You can turn this feature on and off and let me show you where. If you go up to Illustrator under Preferences, we'll go to Selection and Anchor Display, and on the bottom here you will read Enable Rubber Band for Pen Tool and Curvature Tool. If in any case we would uncheck this here and then click OK, and I start drawing a path again, I will not see that next line again. I basically have no idea where my path will be, even though once I click another point, I'll get my path. But this neat rubber band feature really helps to give you a good indication where you have to place your next anchor point. So I'm going to undo this. So let's go back to Illustrator on the Preferences, Selection and Anchor Point Display, and let's turn the rubber band back on for the pen tool. Now the best way to start with the pen tool is to remember the Shift key and the Command or Control key. Now let's place our first point, and then let's hold the Shift key and drag out some handles. As you can see, the handles are getting aligned along my guide. Then when I let go, I can start placing my first path. I would like to place another anchor point here, and then I'm just going to press the shift key again, and then pull my handles. And this allows us to create a pretty smooth path. And I'm going to continue to do the same thing. Now if I'd say, for example, I let go, and I would like to actually move around those handles a little bit, instead of having to switch back to the direct selection tool, and basically deselecting the pen tool, I can just stay with the pen tool and all I have to do is press command or control the keyboard and hold it and then I get my direct selection tool and then I can either select the point, move it around or play with the handles. And now when I let go of the command or control key, I get my pen tool back. This can really speed up your workflow. Now for example, I'm going to place my next point and then I'm going to just press on my point to end it there to make a sharp point and then I'm going to continue to create my path. Again, if I press the shift key, I'm aligning my handles again horizontally, and as you can see, I don't even need guides, and I'm going to pull as long as I need to so I have a smooth path, and then I let go and I'm gonna continue. Of course, I can also pull the handles in a 45 degree manner. I can either pull it vertically, horizontally, or in 45 degree increments. For example, I would like to have a little bit of a 45 degree point here, and then I press the command or control key on the keyboard, and then I can adjust my handle. And again, I have not switched tools. I did not switch back to the direct selection tool and then had to pick the pen tool again. Now the next tip I want to show you is if you actually do not create any curves. For the bottom of my first letter here, I'm just going to press to create some lines. Now, of course, I would like to have those sharp corners turned into curves, and I can achieve that with the anchor point tool. Now, I could go up into the toolbar and choose the anchor point tool. Just let me show you. If I press here on the pen tool, all the way at the bottom is the anchor point tool. But again, I do not want to deselect the pen tool. I can simply press the optional key on the keyboard, and I will get my anchor point tool. And now I can go onto my anchor, and I can round it out and then I can continue drawing my path. Now in any case, I'm going to place a point, and I am not happy where I place this point. 
I have not let go of the mouse key yet, but I'm not happy where my anchor point lies. All I have to do now is press the space bar and then I can drag that anchor point around and place it into the spot I'm really happy with. And again, we still haven't deselected the pen tool. And then I can just continue drawing. Just to show you again, I have not let go of the mouse key yet. So I'm going to press the space bar and hold it. And then you can see I can move that point around. It has not been set yet. And if I'm happy with it, I let go and then I continue drawing. Now here's another small tip. In case you know that you're going to have a corner here, but this looks like a good spot for your next anchor point. You just place it and then you continue drawing. You then press again the control or command key on the keyboard and then select the anchor point. You see our little dynamic corner circle here and then you can just pull it and round it out. When you then let go of the command or control key, you're back with your pen tool and then you can continue drawing. Now in case you want to work a little bit faster and you would actually like to create a new path that is not connected right now. There's a shortcut to deselect path that you're currently active on without having to switch to any other tool either. All you have to do is press the shift, command and A or shift, control and A and you will deselect the current path. Watch what happens. It's deselected, but then I can create another path. So I'm going to start with an anchor point. I'm going to create my path and then in the end, I would like to join them again. I make a point. I can see that I made a mistake. I need to stretch out the handle a little bit. I press the command or control key again and grab my little handle and then I'm going to connect my two paths. Now, of course, let's continue and I'm going just to make single points round out our sharp corners here. Again, I'm just pressing the command or control key on the keyboard, select the anchor point and then simply work with my dynamic corners. This can really speed up things. And then after that, I can assess my shape. I can use the direct selection tool, click any anchor point I'm not happy with, move the handles around, and of course also remove any points I don't like. All I have to do is switch back to the pen tool and then hover over the anchor point I'm not happy with and click it when I see the minus sign and it will get removed. Then I simply press the command or control key again and then play with my handles. And this is how you can work with the pen tool and really get a good workflow going. So just to recap again, we have here in Illustrator to see the rubber band that really helps us to see where our path will fall. When we're working with the pen tool and I hold command or control key, I switch directly to the direct selection tool and then can alter anchor points or handles without deselecting the pen tool. If I'm on the path with the pen tool and I would like to use the anchor point tool, I simply press and hold the optional alt key on the keyboard and I will switch directly to the anchor point tool and then when I let go, I automatically go back to my pen tool. And if I'm placing a point and I have not let go of my mouse yet and I press the space bar, I can choose a different placement for my anchor point. And if I'm making a lots of paths and I would like to start a new path without having to switch back to the selection tool and deselect the path and then back to the pen tool to create a new path, I simply press command shift and A or control shift and A. This will deselect my current path. I'm still with the pen tool and then I can draw again. Now the rest is going to be a speed art. I'm going to work with the pen tool, implement all the tips that I've just given you and then have a really good workflow going without really never deselecting the pen tool. So sit back, enjoy and I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.
this is it. This is the end of Vector Twist series 12 Days of Christmas. I'm Simona, and I would like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Have great holidays, and I'll see you in the new year 2018.